Anyways, and welcome back to K Pop Schools. Schools. I'm Paige. I'm Kate. And we are back. We just got done checking out 17's June and his solo song Crow. So go check that out. It was really awesome. Like, seriously, we were like dying. And now we're heading into an artist we have not checked out before. We've ever. heard the name. We know the name. <laughs> but I haven't listened to any of stuff. Yeah. Um, so this is Kangta and his song Freezing. Now, the reason I know Kangta, I mean, I've heard the name before. Obviously, he's an SM artist. Um,. But the reason I know him is because Ace, um, the leader June, he supposedly looks and sounds like him, especially when he was like when Kangta was younger. I guess he he's like the younger version of Kangta. So I'm like very interested because I'm like we love June. He's not my bias, but we do love June. So I'm super excited to see what this is gonna sound like. Me too. So before we hop in, we'll leave a link to our Patreon down below in the description box. We hope you come and check us out. We do live stages, drum reactions, ride shows, dance practices. You can join our Discord. Basically, everything you can't do here on YouTube. We also post previews there for you guys to get blocked on our channel because I can make pay for things we give for free. That's just stupid. It sounds like I'm mumbling sometimes when I say that, but I'm really not. I'm actually saying words. I'm just words. trying to get it out there as fast <laughs> as possible. It's literally like, when I'm like, for you guys, like, it literally sounds like I'm mumbling, but I'm like, I'm not. I'm actually saying words. It just gets mushed out when I say it. <laughs> But yeah, we actually have captions, obviously, because, you know, SM's on top of things. Surprisingly. <laughs> I'm super excited for this. This is Kangta's Freezing in 3, 2, 1. Ooh. Kind of jazzy. I was gonna say, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's a little jazzy. I like that. It's oh, pretty. It's nice. <laughs> It's almost like he's standing on like a poker table or something. Right. She had a great voice. This is very ominous. Hmm. They look like they're about to just like break the glass and murder him or something. Jeez. Ooh. Very jazzy. Yeah, I can see the June connection. For sure. Spider Woman. <laughs> that sweater looks so cozy. It does. Like when he hits that part, I love that. His voice. His voice is very soothing. Yeah. I don't know, that, like the tone when he hits the yeah, yeah, like, I don't know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just something in it. But yeah, like you can see face shape and everything. He does look like June. Very much, like, especially in the eyes. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't know horror movie, but like instead of just like the Jason Esk or Brain or whatever, like, it's just a bunch of sequins. Diamonds. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's awesome. It's falling. This is the kind of song you like dance with like your partner to. Like just slow. It's like Except sway. I don't think this is the song you'd want to dance to. Well no, it's more like a sway. Like you know, like in, it would be like at a club, like it's jazzy, you know. No, like, I know, it's just similar to like why am I the only person in pain? <laughs> yeah. Well obviously like it's a like almost like a breakup song. I would assume. Something like that along those lines. But 
it's something like the beat of it and everything like it's something you'd hear in like an old club like somebody's cabaret. up on the mic like a cabaret or something you know and it's like drinks are tinkling around or something and you're just like swaying on the dance floor with like with like a your partner or something like that like i i could see that it's almost like something you'd hear in a movie in a cabaret scene like that's literally what it sounds like we need more, like, stuff based off, like, the 40s and 50s. It sounds so like, cool. Like, L.A. Noir, the video game. I don't know if you know about that. I've heard Your of it. You're a detective in, like, the 50s, I think, after oh, that's cool. World War II, because he, like, served in the military or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> this is a song I could totally hear in that game. Yeah, like I said, this is definitely bringing back those, like, old school vibes, which is really cool. Like I said, we've been getting a lot of, like, jazzy songs lately. Mm-hmm. Which I mean, we love. Like I so said, we love like, the big band kind of sound. We like the jazzy kind of feel. Um, we grew up with older people around us. Like my grandparents always listened to the old, like oldies and you know all that. And so, kind of like the old school stuff is just really interesting to me. We also grew up a lot of, um, around a lot of old rock. Yes, rock and roll is definitely one of the big things. <laughs> rock and jazz, man. Mm-hmm. Like we get the the classics. <laughs> But no, he did a really good job. Like I said, I, I definitely see the whole Ace June in him comparison. Like I said, they have the exact same eyes. Um, his face is a little bit more fuller than June's. June's is more, like, smoothed out. But he definitely, like, features-wise, yes. And even when he hits the higher, like, belted notes, Sounds I can... Similar. Yeah, I can see it. I definitely can see why people comp- say that uh, June is the younger version of Kongta. So... But no, this song was really interesting. It was definitely like it's that slow jazzy and stuff. Um, but it's kind of got like I don't know how to put it, like almost like a sensual feel to it. Mm-hmm. Especially like with the outfits. It was like R and B means jazz. Yeah, that's that's what it was going for. And I'm like, it's just it's really interesting too. And the way he sings is really cool. I like it. <laughs> he did a really good job, guys. I love his voice during the chorus. Yeah, when it goes higher. Mm. Yeah, it's like when he's like in his head voice, it sounds really pretty. I was like, ooh, that's nice. I think my favorite outfit is the sweater. Definitely the sweater. Yeah, I, I wasn't a big fan of the blue suit, but I definitely liked the, the co- comfy sweater he was wearing. I think maybe if it was a different material. Yeah, it was too shiny for this kind of thing, I think. I feel like it was like if it was just a black matte suit, it would have been nice. Or, like, even a red matte suit, you know? Or, like, the blue would have been fine, just maybe if it wasn't shiny. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know, but, like I said, I, I prefer the cozy sweater. He did look cool. <laughs> it was really interesting. Um, anything else? I'm good. Alrighty, we hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did. We'll leave a link to our Patreon and Instagram down below in the description box. We hope you want to check us out. It really helps us out so, so, so much. We love you guys. Your support means the absolute world to us. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.